Welcome to day 8 of 100 days of Webflow. Today's video is going to be super simple. We are going to look at how to create product variants for your products on the Webflow e-commerce. Again, this is a very simple video. These are basic Webflow features. However, there's unfortunately not a lot of content on this, while variants can be a very, very powerful feature, especially if you have, you know, a lot of product variants. So let's see how that's done. Uh, we're gonna be very quick on doing this. So what we have here is a product page. If you click here, it's gonna prompt you confirm that you wanna start e-commerce. And then when you confirm, you're gonna have this list here and you can go to products. And uh, this is basically where we're gonna create our product variants. Now, this is actually just the CMS yet. So if you have the CMS plan, you can work this. Unless you wanna add checkout, then you will have to add uh, e-commerce. Now let's do this for this example. So we're gonna start a new product. We're gonna call this headphones premium, okay? And um, we're not gonna add much details. I'm gonna add the image just uh, to have it populated. And then uh, we're gonna copy this table. So we have this table, some product variants. We're just gonna put the base price to be 149 for now. And we're gonna create the variants for this. So to create variants, we're gonna go to options. So as you can see here, options, and uh, that's where we're gonna add a new option. So first we add an option set. So what we have here, for example, in the, in the sheet, I have an option set of color, material, and then of course, price and image. So my sets are gonna be color and material. And as you can see, like I have black, white, red, and blue, and then plastic, leather, metal, and fabric, and they all change between each other. So there's black, plastic, black metal, black fabric, and so on and so forth. So we're not gonna build all this table on Webflow. We're just gonna name them. So first one is color, and the options will be black, white, what, did, what else did we have? Red and blue, and blue. So that's the set one. And you can see it already created this for you. It adds the main image that you have added, but you can customize this further if you want to have another image, let's say the black version or the white version of the headphones. And then we're gonna add the material option set. And the here will be fabric, leather, plastic, and what else was there? Metal. So now it automatically created one for each option. So for each variant group with the other group, it created one option for you. And now all we have to do is just match the prices. So here we have the black plastic. So if you go to black plastic, it's 149. So that's great. And then black leather will be 179. And we can go to black leather and we will change the price to 179. And uh, I'm going to speed up this part. So I'm going to do all of them and I'm going to demonstrate at the end. So now let's say in this case, I don't have blue metal and blue fabric. So I know that Webflow creates this automatically for me because this is how it works. It's just gonna create automatic variation for all of the group sets. So in my case, I don't want to include this, so I can go here and get, say track inventory, and I can say the, tell the quantity to be zero, this way it will be disabled on the website. So we're gonna see that now. So in our case, we're gonna disable blue metal and blue plastic. So we're just gonna have blue leather and blue fabric and we already priced those. So let's create this product and see how this is gonna work. So we have the product created. Now we can go back to our Webflow project. Uh, what we need to do is add those buttons for product variants. Now, again, this is a Reloom template, so we're not gonna see these. These are not the buttons that are there, but we're gonna use those for styling. So what I need to do is add perhaps here under this section, I'm gonna go to add and I'm gonna add add to cart element. So this add to cart, perhaps I place it here above this form. So this add to cart, as you can see here, it has the product variants and it's a drop down. If I go on this drop down, you can see the black, white, red and blue and the variants of it. And uh, we can also have the option to make these into buttons. So if we go to options, click on options and it's like the CMS color with the purple. So we go back to the settings and we click on variant selector will be buttons. As you can see here, they are now shaped like buttons and we can copy this style to make them look similar. So variant buttons and uh, text color white. All right. And then maybe here as well, this quantity uh, input, we're going to change it. And it's going to be as quantity input. And let's copy these labels so that they match as well. So we have this field labels. All right. And uh, finally, the buttons. So we have this button, and this will be uh, add to cart button. This will be secondary is by now button. Secondary is by now. 
and now we can delete this form that was in the template. All right, so now we have this variation working. Now, I'm not sure if it's gonna work here, or let's see if blue metal, yeah, it's only gonna work on the live version, so let's get on that. First thing, we wanna see the pricings. So I'm gonna get this pricing uh, text side here under the selectors then we're gonna get this text from price so we go to the price and we click on it now it's showing me a price a certain price that has been selected now i know this price is not for the basic ones but let's see how this is gonna look on the live version so let's publish the site and see how we can change the variance and how the pricing is going to change dynamically based on what we choose so now we are on the live page and if we click on black plastic you can see the pricing is changing to 149 black leather uh, 179 black fabric and this works on all of them and when we go to blue and we click on plastic now we can style it to make it disabled but as you can see when i click on plastic it doesn't work and if i click on metal it doesn't work i can only see the leather and fabric because i set those up and if let's say i have this set as selectors maybe you can see this better since we didn't style the disabled state so if i have had i have this as selector and I publish and we're going to see that the blue options that we have set as zero quantity is not going to be enabled. All right. So now we can go back to our project. We can refresh. Now, if you can see if I click on blue and I click on this drop down, I can see plastic and metal is disabled and I can't choose it. And you can do the same thing with the buttons. Again, we'll have to create a, a disabled state. So this is basically product variance. Now you can make the image as well dynamic by adding an image for each variant and that will change the image here once the user chooses the variant that they want. And of course, this will only work if you enable checkout. If you have no checkout enabled, you can delete those or you can uh, remove them from the list. So if you go here on the list on this element that we just added, and if you click on add to cart, you can hide the add to cart button and you can hide the buy now button. So we just have uh, you can even hide the quantity since there's no need for it delete the label and we just have the variant and the pricing because that's what we want perhaps we can add another call to action button that can be contact us since we might not have set up the full e-commerce uh, it might be a pre-sale product it might be something that we're testing out and we don't want to go full e-commerce so this can be a great starting solution thank you for watching this video i'm going to see you in the next one tomorrow day nine